Hi, Gemini. This is Moon Pie Tarot getting ready here to do your reading, your love reading for the next 10 days this is for Gemini Sun, Moon Rising, and Venus. Some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. If you would like to get a personal reading from me, go ahead and click the link in the description box below. You can schedule my reading right there through my booking site. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram at Moon Pie Tarot. All right, Gemini, let's take a look. This reading, again, will be for the next 10 days. So from the time you click on it, even if you click on it, listen and click again. Okay, time is fluid, energy is fluid. All right, let's just take a look here and see what your person's love messages are here for you, how they feel about you, what they're thinking about you, oh. what they would like to see happen with you. Now, some of you, yeah, I don't pull reversals in these readings unless they just pop up out of nowhere, but some of you, um, could be dealing with a past position, past person, but we're going to take a look at energies. Um, so, so far, let's see. Okay. Um, we have Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Taurus, Libra, Aquarius, another Gemini, Leo. Okay, enough about that. Let's take a look and see what the messages are here. First card pulled out of the deck is passion is ignited. Some type of inspiring um, thing happening here in your life coming for you that, oh, very whew, obsessive, addictive type of behavior thing happening here can cause a little bit of mental conflict. That's for sure. There's a decision that needs to be made. For some of you, um, somebody here is trying to make a decision about <laughs> indulging in something. Hmm. Why is there conflict about this? Okay. Because this needs careful planning, needs careful, um, there may be a compromise that needs to be made here. No, I don't feel there's cheating or anything like that. Um, I do feel like there's a tower moment coming here and the decision that needs to be made. Do we trust our, to go with our gut, go with our passions? Hmm. There's an upheaval, a major upheaval happening here. There's a new opportunity coming in. This could have something to do with male virility. Okay, if you're a male listening, this might have to do with, you know, we do have the Empress here. This could have something to do with making babies. But if you're female, well, that could be something for you as well. Some of you may find out that you are indeed with child. Maybe you're going to find out in these 10 days. You're like, what's wrong with me? I know, not all of you, but somebody like, what's... Why do I, why am I nauseous every morning or what's going on? Mm, so yeah, my advice here, and it might be causing a little bit of like unexpected, could be unexpected pregnancy for some. Okay. Um, and for others, there is a decision that's being made here and it's based on our passions what's driving you okay there's an urge a new urge coming to create recreate or procreate okay um now let's take a look now this could be coming from your person or this could be coming something coming from you all right um wow whomever you're connecting with like this person is intrigued and in desiring to indulge in you in every possible aspect that they can gemini okay <laughs> and that that is definitely wanting to like commit be a family be in a um structured like marriage a structured like a like a, in the church kind of thing chapel kind of thing wedding kind of thing okay doing things right coming in with morals and values 
All right, this person is like, the struggle's over here. They're really getting in tune with how they feel about you. Really checking, they're taking, look at how she's looking, he or she looking inside that cup and being like really looking at their feelings, their emotions and how they feel about you, Gemini. This person is like, they are so happy with you. You are a wish come true for them, Gemini. Absolutely. And for some, I feel like this person wants to have a child or another child with you. Um, they're in this process of trying to decide. It could also be like moving, relocating, moving in together or um, relocating to where each other lives. If you're not living together already, let's get a couple of clarifiers. I want to take a look at this um, Hierophant here. Spiritual. Um, I just saw like um, ooh, like some kind of ceremony of some sort out in the woods, but there's like all these beautiful vines. There's vines surrounding um, you and this person. Okay. Surrendering. Wow, Gemini. This person is like, com like 10 and a 10, bookending on the bookends here of this reading. Surrender, surrender, surrender. Exhaustion, done. Ready to face whatever is coming forward. Ready to like just, oh, I just heard that Liam Rhymes song, Can't Fight the Feeling. I don't know if you remember that song. Liam Rhymes, Can't Fight the Feeling. I'm not gonna sing it. All right, um, yeah, wow. Um, definitely about child. There's communication coming in here. This person really opening up, expressing what they want, their desires, their needs. Okay. New love. This person volunteering, opening up, giving. Joy. With the sun. Fulfillment. <laughs> the sun is a star. So there is renewal. And there is hope here. Could be reconciliation for some of you. A miracle. <laughs> it's a miracle. I'm hearing someone, some of you have a child or will name a child Faith or have a miracle coming in. A sense of being in the spotlight. You know, there's just so much happiness and joy that I'm picking up here at this time for you and your person. the success, but there's a decision. Okay. Deep emotions. Again, you two are definitely a, a good match here because we have the queen and the king of cups. So when it comes to, um, the deep feelings that one of, that you each have for each other, they're there. Okay. But this person, it's their reading. The King of Cups doesn't take a look at his feelings. The King of Cups just feels his feelings. But the Queen of Cups takes a look. So this person has extremely deep feelings for you and they're actually acknowledging them at this time. Let's take a look at the sun. Okay, yeah. Can't live in this, can't fight the feeling. Can't live in this anxiety induced state and the stress anymore. Need some R&R. &R. Um, if you're going somewhere with this person or having a little vacay or doing something um, and you're not trying to conceive, beware of that. Take precaution. Um, if, you, that's, if that's your thing, whatever, or whatever it takes for you to do that. If you're not trying, but um, there is a chance that that might not work. So maybe abstain. <laughs> that might actually be the only way to prevent this reading from coming to fruition. Um, <sighs> Some of you are going to find out something's going on, whether that's with you or someone else, but you know, it could be like if you have a child or something, a daughter or older or something, but it's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> is this wanted or unwanted? I don't necessarily see either one. I think that's going to be more up on you or what's going on with you. Let's take a look at this Empress. What can you tell me about the Empress? Okay, wow. I can't believe that the High Priestess is here. That's incredible. This is like secret. 
there's a secret for some this is a secret pregnancy um, there may not be full revelation about this just yet some of you may already have this going on and you're not saying anything but this person um, secretly yeah um, either wants you to be a parent to their child wants you to be a parent to their child if they have children if not um, they just secretly want this new beginning with you and they're coming out with it they're exposing it with the sun okay and their deepest hidden desires that's also Virgo energy here I'm gonna give me these two cards here what else do they want to tell me <gasps> yes judgment reconciliation um, of purpose this person you are um, you know Gemini you give this person purpose to their life this is how they feel you bring them out of their sadness or when they feel grieving or um, remorse or when they have a sense of loss or you know so this person truly does cry over spilled milk at times they don't like when things are out of place or things just don't go right they have a really and then when that happens they kind of get down about it and they feel kind of like oh it's like everlasting you know they focus mostly sometimes i don't know that they do it on purpose it might just be natural for them to see the glass half empty then but you see it full, half full all the time and you awaken them to this okay and they're they're able like it's almost as if like you give them like the truth you give them purpose in their life you bring clarity you're like a wake up you're like an alarm clock to this person and they're coming in with this truth okay your person is coming in to say what's what to express what they're thinking their thoughts I know some of you are like I never knew what they were thinking I wasn't ever really sure no they're coming in with clarity they're going to speak to you on your level so that you understand them because they may have spoken in different ways perhaps there's a language barrier um, but they find a way to communicate with you clear-cut communication precise communication precise See what your moonology message is here for this person. Well, they gave me two. Surrender to the divine. I feel like it's okay. Luck is on your side. This thing is, you know, with this person, I feel like they're giving in. Like I said, we have two tens as bookends of this reading. I feel like this person is surrendering 100%. And look, this is new moon in Sagittarius. So all of this is going to happen during the full moon which i believe is i'm sorry please forgive me this 27th or the 28th maybe it's both days it's the moon in scorpio um somebody could be dealing with a sagittarius but this situation i definitely feel like is going to start improving between you two or something like wow let's take a look and get some more clarity on how this person feels i mean you are 100% a wish come true for them. I'm feeling that strongly here and I'm seeing it with the nine of cups. They're really looking at how they feel and expressing it to you. Okay. You've learned the spiritual lesson. All right, this person definitely, here they are. They're surrendering to spirit, higher power. Maybe you're just like, wow, my person never really believed in God or anything, or they did, but they never, like, I don't know, or they just didn't believe in spirit. This person's surrendering to that. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Wow. Gemini, this person, always, you're always on, oh, I just heard that song. You were always on my mind. Willie Nelson, I mean, serious, that's from like my mother's time. I just heard that that song trust it's safe to trust in this situation this person feels very safe with you Gemini that they can tell you anything they feel they can trust you they remember every detail of that day what is that day that they want to it was positive it feels positive that positive moment that you guys had together obstacles unhealed wounds or blocking forward movement I feel like this person 
is getting some kind of healing. This might be counseling. Maybe you, this person is surrendering and agreeing to go to counseling or agreeing to get married or go to some kind of marriage counseling of some sort or something. Maybe prior, during, or after. Re re reconciling a, a marriage after a divorce, coming back together again. This person loves you unconditionally, Gemini. Oh, somebody here had uh, parents that divorced and they didn't ever want to get married again or they didn't want to kind of do that thing. Maybe it was you, maybe it was them, but it feels like mm, they're surrendering to this now. I wonder if you are happy without me. Some of you may not be in communication with this person. And they do think about you all the time. They wonder if you're happy. Maybe you've blocked them. That could be this right here, mental conflict. They're stressing. They want to disrupt, break through the blockages, and reignite these passions again with you. I want to be more than friends. This person, whatever the nature of your relationship is, they want romance. And they're coming in with that page of cups to bring that romance, Gemini. I want you. This person wants you. Look, it's right here. And they're going to tell you that. And boom, the spark. Here comes the spark. You're feeling it. You'll feel it. They just maybe even throw themselves at you in this passion, desire towards you. I'm so attracted to you. This person is like wowed by you, Gemini. Every time they look at you. Every time they look, they look at you and they see, somebody said, oh, I just heard. Somebody once told their person they look like a younger version of Tom Cruise. Oh, and then, oh, wait, who's that guy? Harry Styles? I just heard the name Harry Styles. Somebody looks there, has really curly hair, brown, really, cur or really just curly hair. could be brown, really curly hair. Um but they're afraid to contact you oh my goodness they're afraid to tell you um they're gonna break through though it's this disruption right here they're definitely afraid if you haven't heard from them they hide behind material things this person they maybe they have like a shopping addiction or they just hide behind money or something but <laughs> they're afraid to they, there is a fear to reach out and tell you what's going on but overcoming those fears queen of swords sword energy not afraid fearless with communication it's crazy all right what else i want to tell you how i feel see i'm afraid to contact you i hide behind material things so i don't have to say anything but i really want to tell you how i feel this person wants to speak to you and tell you, express to you what they want, what they desire from you and with you. Marriage, family, having a baby, having another baby, grandchildren, being a part of a family, bringing children together. Obsessive energy from them. We will be together again. This person, if you guys are not communicating, um, they are very confident um that things will work out between the two of you that you will be together again you will reconcile they're they're coming for you this is really what i feel um there's a bit of regret for the things they may have said to you in the past um and they do wish they could you know recapture those words and not have had them come out of their mouth but there is an energy of hoping that you will forgive them um, maybe there was some time apart distance seems to have brought a little bit of clarity to this person it they do admit here that it was their fault and that they did blame you and they're sorry for that firm boundaries are needed now okay i'm not really sure but this person probably was lacking some boundaries and here they come with boundaries and this could be um they were lacking boundaries with other family members or things like that and they are actually getting them. I just feel like getting a set of balls. That's really, forgive me, YouTube, for saying that. But they want to feel this way again, strong, confident, in power, in love. 
my life is not as together as it seems. This person seems to kind of like maybe sometimes put on a front. Um, but deep down, I feel like you know um, that they hide behind like the front of material things. Um, money. Um, material items, you know, whatever it might be. Cars, homes, money, fashion, jewelry, um, whatever. But it's all like fascia, you know. It's the fascia. And you open up the cabinets, things are a little bit in disarray. And um, they don't like anyone to see that. But there's something about you, Gemini, that they feel you accept them fully you love them and they love you for loving them they can't believe somebody's loving them the way you're loving them or the way you have okay what are they giving us here three of wands planning for the long term abundance from past choices pride in the success of your labors be patient as you decide what's next very nice okay Wow, Six of Pentacles, the good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less, less fortunate. This is generosity here. Nine of Pentacles, exploring the fruits, enjoying the fruits of your labors. Okay, I know some of you, biblically, that's, that could be like, you know, could be children uh, hard work that has led to a luxurious life buying yourself something special happily and successfully self-employed and maybe even enjoying some solitude at times is something that you um your advice these are your advices okay um let's see I'm gonna get uh chinese oracle messages and i'm gonna pull some charms for you gemini i almost said pisces why? Somebody connecting with a Pisces, perhaps? Let's see, what are the Chinese oracle messages here for Gemini? Sunshine. The sun is shining on you. Career and business growth. Fabulous communication and relationships coming forward for you. Lovely. Mm, let's see. Oh, opportunities. An important offer will be made. Be prepared and dress to impress. Okay. What else, Gemini? Oh, major life change. Time is right for major life changes as a new lifestyle or location brings great joy and a trouble-free existence. Whew. Somebody here is definitely coming into like a windfall of money. I have to just say that real quick. I don't know if that's like a tax return or a lottery win. I just felt it going to be no longer struggling to make ends meet, I'm hearing. Okay. Well, you have the key. Oh, black heart. Key. The key. Oh, okay, you guys. Someone's moving. There's a place called Black Wood or Black Heart. Somebody's buying a home. Um, in a particular neighborhood it could be in a, a particular ethnic or cultural neighborhood um, there's also there's a real estate company called Black Realty or something there's also um, or like there's a realtor Mr. or Mrs. Mr. or Mrs. Blackwell or Black or something or there's like or somebody's name which is lovely very lovely I'm seeing a key to a home for some oh and then we also have like a oh salmon somebody likes salmon who likes salmon baked salmon grilled salmon somebody really likes salmon they feel like it's out of this world like, it's my favorite food. It's just a favorite. I know not everyone has a favorite. My favorite seafood is scallops, broiled scallops. I will eat that for the rest of my life and nothing else if, if I have to. But somebody here is like, <gasps> they can't get it. They crave it. Grilled salmon. 
and Saturn. <laughs> Temperance. I believe... I, oh, gosh. For, forgive me. Wait. Saturn rules Capricorn. I just felt temperance energy, though. I don't know why, which is Sagittarius. Sag, sad. That's what I was picking up. Okay, we have a nut. Planting a seed. Okay? We're feeling nutty. That Scorpio moon is going to have some of you feeling like, what? I am losing my mind. Something is coming forward in autumn. When the nuts and the squirrels start gathering their nuts... Something very significant is going to be happening um, like October, November of 2021, they're saying. <laughs> Baby foot. Oh, I know some of you are like, come on, really, moon pie? I'm like 56. I'm not having any children. Well, maybe it's a grand baby. Um, but for others, I mean, come on. There's an imprint of a baby's foot. Okay. There could be conception at that time or somebody's giving birth at that time and they get the baby's foot imprinted on um, the birth certificate. I think they still do that, don't they? See the baby's foot? Okay, footprint. And also romantically, they're just saying, tell um, Gemini that Gemini has left a footprint on my heart or maybe fingerprint, footprint, I don't know. I hope nobody's stomping on you, stomping on your heart. Um, but there is an energy of like, oh, and then um, I don't know if you're looking up at your wall. Somebody's got the footprints um, saying or poem poem somewhere. Or, or it's connected to somebody, footprints, the poem, somewhere in their home. They have it or they have it as like a bookmark. Use it for a book footprints that I don't know if you've ever read that it's very beautiful all right Gemini I'm going to leave that here for you I hope that these messages resonated for you in some way if you want a personal reading link in the description box below please do hit like and subscribe on your way out I love you guys very much and I'll speak to you all very soon all right take care